guys, I am about to open up box number four. I have just slid this open. I don't know what's in here. This is a wider box, so we've got some, looks like we've got a lot of larger items. Um, oh, this is something that Marilyn would, uh, would stand up on her sales table at a convention. Uh, newspaper, oh my goodness, a lot of newspaper things. Bunch of Winnie Winkles. Maybe this is all newspaper stuff, I don't know. Uh, Mrs. Sour Grapes overcomes her scruples and enjoys herself. Well, I like that. Jerry McJunk gets some hints on the cure of insomnia. Well, it's not a paper doll, but quite delightful. Um, oh, cute things in here. Um, Katie Keene, this looks like a copy. Hmm. This is like a little magic city. Wow. Neato, it's a rainbow movie theater to put together. Ooh, I like that. Paper toy. I hope you can see these. This is very cool. So, the teeny weenies. You know, I only am familiar with some newspaper Things. So a lot of these are new to me. I have not heard of the teeny weenies. Oh, look at the little people. Look how small they are compared to the chicken. Oh, I like these. I loved the, the Borrowers series when I was a kid. And I used to pretend that there were little people living in the walls of my house in the attic. And I'm sure a lot of people did the same thing. So... Um, more teeny weenies. Well, ugh, this is that's a good little collection right there. This looks gorgeous. What nice Denmark uh, paper doll from from a Danish paper. You would better look at that. We're not even at the top of this box, people. This is oh my gosh, this is amazing. Some Mopsy modes. Lots of Mopsies. Dora's Duds. 1933, it looks like this is from Tilly the Toiler, from, also from the 30s. Mopsy Mose. Very nice, Tilly the Toiler. I didn't know Marilyn had so many um, newspaper paper dolls. This is beautiful. Toodle cutouts. I really like this box. More Tilly the Toiler with Tilly paper doll boots. Jane Arden. Here's a fellow from Jane Arden's wardrobe. Uh, what's this? little paper doll scene about Belgium for toodles. Hmm. Winnie Winkle. This is a beautiful one. A style story. Front and back dolls. This is very nice. Comes with the comic that goes with it. More Winnie Winkle. Who's this? Oh, Flapper Fanny. I wonder if we can see the date on this. Mm -hmm. 1935 maybe hard to see it's super tiny gone with the wind souvenir from 1988 by Bob Herman this is a Betsy McCall I have that one in my own collection it's like photocopies of a Brand the Star paper doll book. Um, looks like from 
paper dolls from Denmark. A bunch of these. Wow. Lots of these. Uh, we've got a number of, these are from Jack and Jill. Aha, the Linda Goes West series, very nice. I like those. Let's put those in a different pile, they're a little newer. The Blinded Lady. Oh, illustrations by Gertrude Kay, that's probably why Marilyn kept this. A lot of people have seen this. Oh, the movie dolls. Wow. From 1920. Oh, Mercury Clark. This is nice. Gee, I wonder how many. Oh, there's more. These must be the originals from 1920. Mary Pickford, goodness gracious, these are lovely. I've not seen these. I didn't know anything about them. And you know, we're doing an article on silent film stars uh, coming up, Lila Lee. The, and uh, so these will come in very handy. Here's a uh, salute to Sherlock Holmes. This must be one of Tom's self-published sets. And he, he ended up doing a Sherlock Holmes for Dover, but maybe he did this for himself first and then he got Dover to agree to do it. Oh, Flying Jenny. That's me. Letty Lane, just a random Letty Lane presenting Letty's sister as a bride. I'm trying to think if this is the one that Alina was looking for. Was she looking for a Letty Lane or was she looking for a Dolly Dingle? I can't remember. Uh, some farm things. This is a couple of Shackman reprints of the Rachel Taft Dixon. Um, these are some paper dolls by Connie Marshall. Um, she did a lot of Shirley Temple paper dolls and this is really especially nice. It's as if um, the movie part she didn't play because she was considered, she was actually wanted for uh, Wizard of Oz, but we all know that Judy Garland ended up getting the part, so I've never seen this. That's great. Oh, isn't this lovely? Satchel of Valley. Oh, I think this is original. Pretty sure it is. Norwegian costumes. Very nice. These are just some reproductions from Shackman. Um, this is a giant doll. Which one is this from? It's a Queen Holden Baby Sandy. It looks like just the doll. I don't see clothes. Hey, what's this? Flossy Fair with strands of floss to sew her hair. Inside are dainty costumes rare for you to cut and dress with care. Well, don't I love that? Um, here's Peter Fair. And look at this nice doll. I like how angular it is. This must be from like early 30s maybe. Oh, hey, here's the dolls. And they, they, um, they're front and back. And there's no hair on the back. So they haven't, no one has put their, their hair on. So. There's some clothes. The paper's kind of fragile. I don't want to yank it out right now. Hey, look. Here are the movie dolls all cut out. These are currently um, on our eBay auction. And it's nice to see, see a cut set. There's some Ben's here, Claudette Colbert. I'm gonna be careful putting her back because she's got bent, bent ankles. And who do we have here? Girls in uniform, cut dolls. Oh, and there's all kinds of history with this. 
So I don't know what this is. Front and back outfits. Maybe this was a boxed set, I might guess. This is very nice. History of girls in service and quite a few girls. Let's see. And here's a photo. It was called um, Build a Set Girls in Uniform. So that's kind of neat. Uh, this is some kind of paper house. Looking good. Don't know what this is exactly. Hey, what's this? Costa oh, this is Glorian. Her name was Glorian. Hmm. B-L-U-T-T -T, and then there's an M. Maybe that's her middle initial. I don't know. It's from 1976. Elizabeth Scott. We don't see much of her, but she was a... Oh, Elizabeth Scott and Alan Ladd. They were in some at least one movie together. So original, more original art from 1976. Hey guys, this is pretty cool. Huh. Her costumes are really great. I don't know if any of you know about this woman, Glorian. Um, in the mid-70s was, was early on in the paper doll days. There weren't really conventions or anything going on at that point. Um, oh, this looks like all Gibson, Gibson girls things, I would say, a bundle. Yeah, Gibson. It's a whole bundle of Gibson drawings. So, um, Lucy, Eleanor, Leary. That's nice. So here's the one of the Shirley's all cut out. Here's one of the life size. This I think this is from. I think this was from a book that had Shirley dolls of different sizes, including life size, but I'm not sure. Oh, here's a Winnie the Pooh. Chapman did this, but this is the original Winnie the Pooh. Helen Page. Nice. These were done by um, Jean Maiden and Agnes Gar. They did a lot of these oversized prints. Now, John Darcy Noble had such a, a fine hand with his work. It's fun to see his things. So, Moreland Cottage. Uh, who did this? Miss Katie Keene. Is this a Barb Roush? Yep. goodness the grandmother fold away doll uh, we're wanting to do an article at some point on grandparent paper dolls and we must have this on hand somewhere the soldier fold away I hope that you can see these I don't want to have to start all over again but but I will if I'm miss, totally missing the mark here uh, angel family the colors are so good from when 1922. It's a newspaper paper doll and I am amazed at how well the color has held up. Here's another fold away. Well, you know what? We've been chatting here for a while and I wonder if I should do a part one and a part two out of this box because we might want to go through all of these because there's a lot of treasures in here. So I'm going to stop and come back and we'll do part two.